Hey YouTube viewers, Peter here from WA Metro Cichlids. So basically, um, if anyone saw my most recent video before this one, um, I mentioned I've got some Jacob Red Peacocks. And this is the tank here. Um, so you can see, there's also some, I'll um, we'll just try to focus in on him. A little L11 catfish. And he's loving it. There's two of them in there. They're the actual blue-eyed ones. Um, so there's two of those in there floating around. I've got some nice... I'm using the 3D Habitat. I just want to point out in this um, Jacob Peacock tank because you'll notice a lot of people buy those 3D Habitats to put on the back of your tank and you're supposed to use silicon and all this stuff to have it flatten. The... Now, I've seen many people um, use it and have the distortion and have this big um, hollow at the back of your tank up against the glass, you find a lot of fish can get lost behind it. So I thought, well, rather than do all that, why not use it as a base? So these rocks here are obviously rocks I've added. So one, two, three, four rocks. But the rest of this is a 3D backing, and it's got its little hollows. It's hard to sort of see um, around the side, but it has some real nice features now viewers we've got some exciting news what i'm going to do is i'm going to use my torch on my light as well but you can see in this tank i've got a jacob female that's holding eggs now you'll notice the big bulge in her chin there now i did inspect her prior to the video and just put her in an inspection net and looked in her mouth closely and I did see eggs. So I'd say, and I've noticed her bulge about a week ago, so maybe longer. So what I've done is, on this occasion, viewers, I've used the Aqua One breeding stick-on tank, but what I've done for an addition is underneath the main lid of the, the tank here, there's a Perspex lid, because it's got a cotton sock that goes around that little breeding tank and it's a cotton sock and it's got a it's got a bit of a, an elastic so what I did was in the event viewers because I know people have I've heard people get a bit worried about the suction cups coming off and the fish getting out and the fry getting out in the event this comes off and drops a few inches on a funny angle there's a lid on the top of this breeding box so she'll stay she'll be fine and the fry will be fine when she spits the fry out so I feel quite safe doing that I do have some other breeding boxes I'm going to do a segment on that I'm going to use for other examples. One I'm going to lightly touch on now, today, because it's nearly ready, while I'm here, viewers, is this breeding box design I made myself out of Perspex. Now you'll see a fair bit of effort went into it. It's got some fly screen on each side of the box, and it's also got this little partition, which comes out like so. Now you'll notice that this perspex is grooved as well. You'll notice it's grooved, this bit of perspex that sits in here like this. I've actually, you'll notice with the breeding box, I've siliconed in some little stilts, stands if you will, legs. And that sits on there like that viewers. And basically what I do is the female's going to be up there, put a couple of little small limestone rocks or some even sucker caps to hold the base plate down for the time being while the female's in there and I've got this bit of fake grass of silicon to the base for the fry to feel, seek refuge um, and basically at the top oops sorry at the top I've got these plastic um, lips on the edges and basically that's for you to put your polystyrene underneath Lucky band your polystyrene around, which can be, you can use basically, the idea is like this, for example, you get your polystyrene, you put it either like that, obviously trim it, and you can put your lucky bands with your polystyrene around the edges and that'll float. So that's another breeding box design. I'm going to touch, it, touch on more of those later and some other ones I've done. But for now, viewers, hopefully I'll have some uh, Jacob Red Peacocks. Um, in the very close future, some nice little fry, little baby fish. So, there you go. Thanks for watching. Any comments, feel free to post, and um, thanks for watching.